Hi, we're, we're the, the Psychic, Psychic Twins. Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And we're going to do a Q&A today. We're going to start off with Brianna Lee. Hi, Bree. Hi, Bree. Hey, Psychic Twins. The first question is, what do you guys see as my career in the future? Do you see YouTube? Do you see something else? And also, do I have kids and a husband and a family later on in life? Because I feel like I'm forever alone, so I don't know. You are so adorable, we have to say. You'd asked about career, what you might be doing for your career. We see Oh, but you'd be really great at business management of some kind. You might even get into, Terry thought, like your own business someday. Yeah, I think you're entrepreneurial. You're really a great people person, I think, and you have a very healing energy. I feel like you're going to own a business. You're very entrepreneurial. It could be in your 30s. You're still very young now. You're in college. And also, you're, at some point, you're going to be teaching. Teaching, too. too. So I saw, I saw teaching. teaching. And, and maybe even counseling work would be good for you to get into because you're so compassionate, empathic with people. I feel like you'll have several relationships first and then not too far in the future, but I want you to language more positively. You said, I'm forever alone. And you know, when we say, whatever we say really etches itself into our life, you know? So I want you to really language positively what you want. You know, I easily attract the right person in my life. Make sure that you don't leave things out. Make your list and write it down because that engraves itself into your consciousness. I feel like you have a lot of intuitive abilities. Yeah, clairsentience, yeah. clear feeling. I think you hear spirit, clear audience. Yeah. And so, you know, work on these, develop these gifts. Yeah. And I think you've got a great life ahead of you, Bree. We wish you lots of luck. Good luck. Next up is Lindsay. Hello, my name is Lindsay and I'm 16 years old. And my question is, what advice do you give for people who may be going through their psychic awakening? I've just been seeing these visions that are really unreal and have like a less than 0.5% chance of happening to me and I don't know how to control this or how to deal with it honestly. Hi Lindsay, we enjoyed your video. That's so cool that you're having psychic dreams and premonitions. Yeah. To be able to dream and then uh, document those dreams in detail and they actually will come to pass sometimes. It's sort of rare because a lot of people don't remember their dreams. They don't dream that vividly uh, in detail as you do. And so really know that you have a gift that's not to be feared. It's something you can definitely develop. Like we go to a gym and develop physical muscles. You're developing your metaphysical muscles. You asked uh, about tips for psychic awakening. Well, we and have written three best-selling books. This is our second best-selling book actually it was a world number one bestseller psychic intelligence and this will step by step take you through the process of overcoming your fear and really getting psychic and getting your psychic groove on and I really think that this will help you overcome any fear that you might have about you know it'll explain everything step by step how to meditate and how to do mediumship how to connect with loved ones who have passed and I feel like you have a real gift for that as well our book describes dream dream life in detail and the and meaning of dreams yes. a lot of meanings yes. uh, power animals power totems that come in to help you so I feel like meditation can help and our book will help you with that but look at this as a fun journey an exploration into your intuitive mind and you're going to be surprised I think at how psychic you become in more ways than one coming forward you're only I think 16 15 16 years old and so you're you're already really doing quite well with it. Have fun with it. There's no right or wrong way to do it, Lindsay. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the process and we wish you lots of luck Good on your luck. journey. Oh, we have the most wonderful <laughs> group of friends here. Mm. Uh, Valerie, Catherine, and Joey from the UK. Mitch, Becky, and Sean from the US. So pretty much we are a group of friends who met online. Um, so one of the questions is considering our unusual circumstances in which we met, uh, did we know each other in a past life? And then also, we want to know if we would all end up eventually meeting together. And also, uh, what's our relationship going to be like in the future? That's another thing we're wondering. Bye! Okay, bye. I love this story. I Are know. you all fans of like Harry Potter or something? I feel like you're all <laughs> in feels that the way. Hogwarts school. Yeah. It does. It feels a very mystical group. It's so wonderful. You guys found this community of friends. I 
and we're so excited for you that you found each other because you did have a past life together, all six of you, and we feel it was in the 12th century. Yeah, you were druids in England, mm -hmm. oddly enough. Yeah. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I think we probably knew you too. But you know, yeah. you were in England in the 12th century. I think you really all have intuitive gifts, mystical gifts, oh, don't yeah. you? First of all, both of us were like crying watching well, we were, you we were talking and watching your that was crazy. We were like so moved. Our hearts were like opening up because you're all so special and uh, old souls, I feel. Very, very old souls, especially Mitch. I feel like Mitch has this guru thing happening, you know, uh, really yeah. powerful. All of you are powerful, really, in your own way, intuitively. I feel you have mediumship abilities, yes. mediumistic abilities. That means you have the ability to see spirit, ghosts, talk to the dead. And I think you're going to, at least four or five of you have that ability and you're going to be developing that more in the future. I keep getting Mitch and Becky that have strong gifts in this area. You may want to pursue that. I know some of you have hooked up already, met, met and others haven't, but I do see at least five out of the six of you yeah. joining in a big celebration. It's very clear and there's a lot of joy and it's a coming together of old friends from the past. You're lovely people and we see you all been staying connected for many, many years. It's good to keep that community, that solidarity because it's hard being sensitives in the world. We know darn well. That's why we came in as twins. We knew we couldn't do this by ourselves. So same with you guys. You support each other. You have a strong bond and love for each other. And there's a mystic reason for it. And we wish you so much love. Yeah, we love you guys. Thank you. Love you. Bye. And we'll see, see you in the future. future.